And now for the Monero development segment. Hey, what's up? Good morning. Good morning. Good, good morning. Good morning. Yep, nice. Let's talk about Monero Center, I think. Yeah, let's do it. Tell us all about it. So I think we all know about Ledger and Chesar and why not to use uh, those devices for Monero. Mm, basically because Ledger, with its recent tragedy, they can now see your seed phrase in three parts. So that's basically avoids the, the main the main point of using a hardware wallet and the Chazar, I it haven't been following that closely. What what was the news that actually broke on that? So they actually so had... they basically implemented a feature that you can use a three way uh, seed phrase recovery mm -hmm. that they send uh, the seed to three different companies uh, of their choosing of their choosing and. Uh, to recover the wallet, you can ask them to send the seed phrase to you. But if they can do that, they can extract it for their own too. Like the basic mechanism was that you cannot ex extract the seed with any way because it's a, a harder wallet. And they can do that now. So that basically voids the main feature of it. Uh, Chazor can do the same, but they are less likely to do it because it's open source, so every everyone can choose whether they want to buy it or not. Crazy. But it, but it Monero Signer, it's not a another company that's managing your device, but your own self. So it's a, it's a true it's a true hardware. Uh... While open source way to to store your private keys without having any yes. third parties involved. So basically, it's Monero only, not like Seed Signer, which can support Bitcoin. For Seed Signer, I think there are several other firmwares that you can install. So sorry, several other uh, add-ons that you can install, so you can get other coins on it too. Uh, this is Monero only, and it uses the portal Monero QR to transfer transactions. And it's completely air gapped, meaning that uh, there is no Wi-Fi or Bluetooth in it. Unless you use uh, the wireless Pi Zero that, that they are suggesting not to use, but it can be that, uh, although you have to disable the wireless feature completely for it to not being interceptable. Uh, you need to have a base share, uh, 1.3 LCD, LCD uh, display, uh, with 240 by... Oh. Sorry, one sec. No worries. I think, uh, I think he's being interrupted over there. No. Yeah, kind of. OK, so oh. yeah. you need to have a wave share uh, 1.3 LCD hat uh, with 240 by 240 pixels. And basically any Pi camera, but the Monero signer guys recommend the the main Pi camera that Raspberry is advertising as just the Raspberry Pi camera. And of course, a case uh, which you can print on your own or maybe buy it from Monero Time, the store. Uh, awesome. The risks of using vendor specific devices over DIY is vendor locks. So if the company goes out of business, then you won't be able to implement new firmwares on it. For example, Ledger, they are using uh, non open source firmware. So that's basically that device from them. And the supply chain, which of course comprom compromises your security if the, if the hardware wallet is intercepted, or as I said, Ledger in implemented the feature where they can export your private key slash uh, seed phrase. The sourcing components, uh, what is a vendor, can't find the parts or the factory. For example, uh, when you buy a Ledger or Chazer and 
it needs to be uh, used with a warranty. I've had a friend, I think, buy a keyboard and no, sorry, motherboard, and uh, it went up in value over time uh, because inflation. And he did it to use the warranty on it. The company said that they can't replace it as they have no more on supply and they have no uh, uh, no other parts. So he needed to buy it from a different store with the money they gave back because they can't replace it. So they gave back the money uh, that he originally bought it for. So he's he's losing money on that. Mm. And of course, the uh, politics and geopolitics risk. The privacy, as I said, uh, usually with Monero and every other crypto, you usually need to use an Airgap device for it to not being able to be intercepted. All right. So Here's, just so just yeah. so people fully understand so how this thing functions like so can you just kind of give us an overview of that like if you somebody were to use this what is how, how does it work how does it function so basically here's uh an assembly video video oh this so, is how he's actually building one okay yeah so he's the price zero the buttons he he got from one at the time well he's one at the time and the LCD share hats, so it can be used. So basically, you need with the Pi Zero, you need to have a version <coughs> that comes with the pins, or you need to solder it uh, on yourself. Be because here you can see that the Pi Zero attaches the wave share uh, display by pins. So you basically get the case or print it, and you use the screws, which I think they specify on their website. So, but like like you said, so you could you could build this yourself, or you can buy one that's that's pre built, right? Yes. But I'm I'm saying, how does it actually for those that don't even understand how a CPU yeah? So so basically, it has a Python firmware, uh, if I know correctly. And it's basically a seed signer just with the uh, change that it only supports Monero instead of Bitcoin. Right. So you would you would generate you generate use this to to generate your your seed on it, right? And yes, and uh, it it sends transactions by QR codes. So it looks basically, like um, the. Uh, Monero Signer, they have a store at MoneroTime.store. Yes. Uh, cool. I, I knew I, he was working on this. I didn't realize how uh, close to completion he was and that he's actually, um, I guess, selling it now. Yeah, so they are selling, I think, metal cases. Yeah, steel uh, 316L cases. And, I guess uh, it's like a pre-order. Seat face storage. Uh, and I think it's already orderable in, in normal. That's but, cool. I didn't realize he already had this out. Yeah, it's amazing. I don't think he uh, pushed it. Yeah, uh, I think you need to contact them. Yeah, you need to con contact them now. But I think maybe a month from from now, and you. Oh, if able you select to... uh, if you select color and uh, choose the options, it gives. Oh you yeah, you, you can already order it. Nice. So. What what's involved in building it yourself? He will he'll send you the parts. Uh, no, so with building it, you need to buy the parts on your own, which uh, you are able to buy on either here, I think. Mm -hmm. Or you and, can buy just the enclosure. It looks like on the based on yeah what yeah on yeah on, on a Monero Time store, you can only buy the full thing, and the uh, well, no, I see three options. Uh, if you click yeah on the, the inc button. enclosure, the full thing. And uh, in the kit, so but if you want if, to like put together yourself, you'd buy the kit, right? If you yeah. wanted all the parts from them, yeah. And you can only buy the enclosure, of course. But if you want to give yourself a hard time, you can go over, uh, on seat signer and <laughs> just <laughs> and, and just buy the parts separately from every separate site. 
that they are including here, I think. Nope, not here. One very, second. very cool. Well, so what, what do you guys think of, you know, building it yourself versus buying one that's uh, pre-built? I think when you're building it yourself, you are sure that nothing else is assembled with it. Of course, with Monero.time, they are trustable. But if you want extra trust, you can build it yourself. Unless uh, that third party is compromised as well. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of, uh, yeah, it's hard to... Uh, like truly open sourced hardware is... Yes, very hard. Yeah, they are. Difficult, right? Kind of yeah, and, and of course, if you buy it yourself, you will need to buy uh, the Pi Zero with the GPIO pins installed, or you need to have a soldering station for it How to... Selling the, the pre-built ones for? The, the already built? Uh, one second, the assembled ones with the aluminum, I think. Let me see. 0.742 XMR. Okay. All assembled, yeah. basically ready to go. Wow. Yeah, 0.74. Or you can buy it as a kit and do the uh, put it together yourself, kind of like a framework, you know, where you can buy a framework DIY yeah. for uh, point six one nine. In my but opinion, in my opinion, bit. if someone has a uh, 3D printer, I'd recommend buying the parts separately from a different supplier because if you see XMR to USB. Then that's one sixty USD. For example, for Pi oh, that's Zero, the Monero price. It's it's like I don't. It gave you the yeah, chart yeah, yeah. of Monero, not the, the actual. Uh... Of course. So currently, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, one twenty. So basically, you'd profit maybe twenty or thirty bucks uh, on it if you buy it separately from another website. Of course, now, if you want it... to, if you want to donate, then then I recommend buying it from Monero at the time. So how how would you like use this alongside like something like Manaruju or or Cake? I mean, Cake obviously holds you know store your keys on, on the on the device. Manaruju, I know they were working on the. On the you side. mean you mean backing up your coins from Cake, maybe? Yeah, keeping your seed separate on this device as opposed to. So on- basically, you know, wallets have QR codes and. The way uh, it has this camera in there. So basically, you scan the QR code that the cake wallet gives you to. No, sorry, you, you want to send the monitor here. So basically, with the cake phone, you scan, scan the QR code uh, that's di- displayed on the display here, mm-hmm. and uh, you send it there. Of course, when you are sending uh, XMR from here, you need to have some kind of wireless or n- wired connection. But uh, the way it works is you scan the QR code with this little camera, and it gives you the only send signature for that transaction, which you are going to need to scan on, on a computer. Yeah, someone said, what are you saying? Tux, can you try to explain this a little better? Like uh, for for complete noobs. So, oh, about the uh, how the signer works. Um, it's yeah, like, like so people are used to using Cake, which has their or or Monero-Ju, which has their keys stored on the device. They want to make a payment. They scan a QR code. They send the Monero. How would this? How you know? How does the seed signer differentiate? So these, the signer generates the TXs locally, basically, and use a series of QR codes sending back and forth between the signer and the, um, well, the signer doesn't have a camera on it, does it? I'm thinking about the, um, I'm thinking about how the Anna and arrow work while it works. No, signer, seat signer has a camera too. Oh, okay, so it is like that, where you the, each device generates QR codes back yeah, and forth to transfer the... data. So instead of like using, like he said, using Bluetooth or connecting to USB or using Wi-Fi, it, each device will, uh, like the seed signer, will generate QR codes that get scanned from your device using whatever app will work with the Monero signer to work with that. And then your phone will generate uh, 
QR codes so that the internet required information like uh, node fees and like, you know, confirmations to nodes will come from your phone and you can scan that on your seed signer. So it's yeah. just an actual air gapped way to do transactions. So basically. basically you are scanning QR codes back to back to back from device to device. That way you can send a transaction. So the so do we know any are any apps working with this? Is like does Monero would Monero or Cake function with this at this point? I think Monero has support for this, but maybe not yeah. quite yet. I know they were working on it. I do you know if they do, Comrade? I think they do, but I don't think Wallet does that. not have support for that yet. Um, you might be able to use Ananera Wallet uh, with it because Ananera Wallet already requires two separate. Yeah, uh, Ananera An should be able to use it. These wallets have two, but I think they are only Bitcoin wallets. Maybe not. Yeah, so I'm just wondering how this would interact with the Monero wallet. So uh, yeah, so basically, so, I'm sure you remember when um, we had some people on talk about Ananero. It it yeah. basically works like that. All right, so we, so but with this, a dedicated hardware instead of so using a basically old phone. basically the the DIY wallet, the Monero signer gives a QR code, which contains the signature signing, and the phone scans it sends it to the blockchain and sends back the report that the amount has been sent and you scan back it onto the Monero signer to be sure to check it. Right. Uh, um, all right. Yeah, it would it'd be great to have, uh, what's the guy's name? Monero Time jump on at one, some point. But I know he doesn't, uh, I don't think he speaks English too well. Yeah, we talked about that. All right. Very, very cool, man. So exciting. We'll, we'll continue to keep an eye on the project. Like I said, I'm just a little unsure of how, like, does it, I, obviously, I don't think you could use it yet with Cake Wallet, right? I don't think you, get, you could use it yet. No, with no, not yet, but, um, but maybe, I guess. Uh, maybe that, Vic sees this. Yeah. I mean, you, that'd, that'd, be very, that'd be very cool. And um, has the team to make it work. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Awesome. All right, programming guy. I hope that I hope that helps. I don't. Um, can you not trust a seed generated by K? No, you can't. Uh, programming guy is saying, I don't get the point of this. Are you saying that you cannot trust the seed generated generated by K? No. So K wallet doesn't have a feature currently implemented with uh, Monero or Seed Signer. So, as Seed Signer and Monero Signer works, uh, you generate the. Uh, generate the thing that needs to be signed uh, by the seed signer or the Monero signer on the phone, and you scan it with the Monero signer, you get a QR code back with it that it has been signed, and you scan it again with the phone to send it to the blockchain to confirm right. that, yeah, this has been signed. We can send the transaction now from that wallet to the other. Yeah, so yep. the can internet connected yep. device will be doing most of the work, but you're using hardware wallet to sign because it's what actually has the actual keys to sign on it. That's, right. So that's so, just the point of so it. So programming guy, like, yeah, you, you know, there, there's nothing wrong with Cake uh, or Monero using the, those apps uh, to, to hold, you know, hold your Monero and use Monero and the keys are generated on those devices, which is fine. Uh, but something like this moving towards in this direction allows you to generate the keys offline on this device. And then whenever you go to spend or use your Monero, you're signing it from this device, which is air gap. So it's just added security. Yeah. Cake, uh, Cake, well, Cake and Monero are, you know, uh, apps that are on your phone that are connected to the internet, very secure. But if you want added security, you would keep. You could even go so far as keeping your private seed, your keys off of your off of those devices on this separate piece of hardware oh. that never touches the internet. Uh, Do you guys, yeah, know, yeah. There, there's noobs wow. out there who just don't understand this stuff at all. So, That's what we're trying to explain. Yeah. Wow is saying, but it's Wi-Fi on it. I'm probably guessing you are speaking about the phone. Yeah, it's Wi-Fi on it, but uh, the sign signing that the Monero signer sends with a QR code to the phone is only a one-time transaction. So if your phone were compromised, 
then you'd be only using that one-time transaction, not the whole wallet. Pi Zero, uh, no, Pi Zero doesn't have Wi-Fi. The wireless one has it, but you can disable it uh, permanently. You know, man. So the software on the phone doesn't have the seed. Yeah, in in this instance, exactly. If, if Cake were to add this functionality, you could you could have a scenario where you have your your seed for your wallet stored on this offline device that then communicates with your Cake app as needed when you're sending transactions. So basically, if you want to get a Pi Zero, you need to look for one that doesn't have. Uh, this this chip here, because this is the Wi-Fi chip. If it doesn't have it, then you have no wireless. If it has it, and you already have it, you need to disable it permanently. Which Seed Signer has a guide on it yeah. on how to. All right, man. Very good. Very good. Thank you so much. We'll continue to talk about these things. Uh, oh yeah, go ahead. You got got some more to say here, Monero stats. Yeah, so basically the stats we've increased by approximately five thousand in block height. Said the hash rate is dropping almost, yeah. So, I mean, last week it was 2.7. Before that, it was 3.3. Before that, it was 3.5. I don't know what's happening with uh, my miners currently, but mm. we are dropping fast. The transactions, we have a nice little increase by almost, no, not almost, 3,000 here. Oh, and nice. with, with the Monero note count, that's problematic still because Monero.file doesn't provide normal information, I think. So I will try to contact them if if we can and see if it can be resolved. Uh, right. We'll, we'll leave it at that. And uh, we're about to talk about nodes in a big way here. So we'll continue. It. We'll segue to that. Thank you so much, Comrade. Awesome. Of course. Anytime. Yeah, just a reminder, everybody, Comrade is only like... 15 years old. Uh, I think he's doing an amazing job learning this stuff each week and coming out here to report it. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I thank you to have this opportunity to learn and give learning information. Sweet. Yeah, thanks for showing uh, the signer. That's awesome. Yep, and I'm sure we'll be talking about it more as things progress.